Hey stackers, what's up? Stackmaster G here. Uh, it's Friday and uh, have uh, some items to show that were picked up over the last week. Um, most of these were actually purchased through eBay, uh, either auctions or um, by now with the uh, option to make an offer. Um, as you you guys and gals all know, I, uh, I'm really into the uh, vintage silver bars and I've been collecting uh, fairly actively. I started stacking primarily bullion, um, government issued bullion, generic bullion bars, uh, rounds, uh, and I still do. I just have gravitated toward collecting. Um, and uh, let me show you what I got. Uh, this first piece is a five ounce uh, vintage gateway uh, silver bar. Um, from what I've gathered, Gateway was a Canadian refiner that um, didn't make it. Uh, you know, they had a hard time competing with Johnson Maffey and uh, Engelhard. And um, you just you just don't see this stuff very often. It's it's really cool the shape of it. It's uh, kind of rounded on the edges. If you can you can kind of see almost like a like an ingot style. Um, but it's yeah, it's a poured bar. You can see the uh, characteristics of it. Uh, give you guys some close-ups. Um, I just yeah, I love the poured bars, the character, um, the lines, the little cracks. And this was purchased from somebody in Alaska. Um, they had two of these, and I, I was able to negotiate. Uh, quite a bit below what uh, the asking price was. I, I kind of took a chance on it, uh, but it, it's, yeah, I believe these to be very rare. Um, the next piece also, this is my favorite. This is a Doyle's Mint. Um, some of you have probably seen this. It has the um, kind of the trademark lion on the front of the bar. And you just see the awesome, you know, detail, the crack, little crack there. Um, you know, typical character of a, of a port bar, you know, look right there, that little line on the edge, really cool. And then just the, um, you know, the, the edges, are just uh, beautiful. Um, let me kind of get a look at that. Yeah, really pleased with this. I, I wow. really scored on this. This was an auction, uh, and there was a higher bidder that actually retracted his bid or her bid, and I was able to. Uh, I became the high, the default high bid, and 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 got it. These almost never come up. Um, you'll rarely see these either in a local coin shop or um, online. So I was very pleased to get it. Um, I also picked up um, a tri-state uh, refining. This is a company out of uh, South Dakota. And uh, I'm actually not, I'm not sure they're still, you know, minting. I, I actually don't know, but uh, I know that uh, Tri-State Refining Company uh, was in South Dakota, may still be. Um, this is a Kit Kat style. Uh, not sure what year this was made, but uh, it is an older uh, piece. Just look at it, just the, the detail on the edges. Uh, just amazing. Um, it's very similar, kind of uh, reminds me a lot of the Tentex um, and the um, Silver Refiner Corp uh, Kit Kats. I have uh, I have several of each of those. This is my first Tri-State Refining, um, and these come these Kit Kats come in ten to ten ounce as well, and, and even I've seen the a hundred ounce. Uh, but the you know obviously um, these are a little more affordable than the tens and the hundreds. <laughs> Um, next, I got um, my first uh, five ounce U.S. assay um, SF from uh, this is uh, Continental Coin, and um, the five ounce is much harder to find. You just don't see as many of those. Um, you see more of the ten ounce. Um, so now I have the I have the one, the five, and I have the ten, and I have the hundred, which is the most rare. Uh, just uh, really cool. Got that on auction from a company in LA, and um, I was very pleased to get this. I got it at, at a reasonable price. 
Lastly, um, you know, I like world coins. I like silver coins. I've been collecting the Balboas, the crowns, you know, Morgans, peace dollars. Well, this is the latest, and I've been looking at these. I saw a video um, from uh, Cyber Curtain Twitcher. Uh, he picked up some of these, and I, I had already wanted some. And after that video, I went to AppMax, and I, I actually picked up five. And this is the Hercules. 50 um, franc coin. It's 90% silver, 10% copper. It's really a big coin. It's huge. And um, here's the back. 1975. These were only made for, I think, five, I want to say five or six years um, from the early 70s to about 79 or 1980. And uh, they're, each coin is eight. 0.87 ounces so it's you know it's getting up there close to an ounce um, more than um, you know most of the silver coins I've owned uh, give you guys another look at one more this is a really clean one it's got Hercules with um, say a couple ladies um, and uh, very cool. The detail is really neat. It's got the beads going around. Um, and then on the back, you can say um, Republique Francaise, French Republic, with the date, the wreath. And then on the edges, you see the, the little, you know, little shapes, the stars, the, the diamonds. I, I'm not certain of the significance. I, I don't know if it's just a stylistic um, thing. And then right there in really small uh right at the bottom i don't know if that's the 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 individual who designed the coin i'm not sure it's very hard to read but uh anyway these are really cool and uh you know i love the i love the 90 percent silver so i added five of these to the stack and um yeah, anyway, guys, just um, as always, likes, dislikes, comments. Um, you know, if, uh, if you collect and you like this kind of stuff, um, you know, I, I, um, I talk to a lot, of, a lot of you, Silver Buyer, uh, Of The Earth, um, Silver On Duty. Um, there's a lot of you out there. I'm sure I'm leaving some of you guys out. I apologize if I, if I left you out, but uh, Silver Or Gold, I, I like all your, your videos. And um, I appreciate you making them. Uh, take care, guys. Have a great weekend. Talk to you soon.